Hi kids! Today we will learn about our nervous system. Kids, have you ever wondered why a person who is unconscious does not feel any pain, cold, hot, or see or hear anything? It is because his brain is not in the state of sending any signal to the sense organs or any other part of the body. And it is because of our brain that we can see, we can smell, we can hear, and we can walk or we can sit. We think that we see with our eyes, but it's actually the brain behind everything that we see. Our eyes send signals to the brain, which interprets the signal, and then only we are able to see. Similarly, our skin sends signals to the brain, which interprets the signal, and then only we feel something. Hot, cold, rough, smooth, or anything. So likewise, we feel, we see, we hear, we dance, we talk. All because of our brain sending signals to us to do that. And this system through which signals are sent or received, is called nervous system. Our nervous system is made up of millions of specialized cells called neurons for this transfer of signals in our body. Example, our brain gets a signal if we are hurt. And it's the brain that makes us feel the pain. This is why a person who is unconscious does not feel cold, hot, pain, or anything because his brain is not working that time. Only a person who is conscious, that is, whose brain is working and can see, hear, taste, feel, and smile. Let's see another example. If an alarm is ringing, this information is sent to our brain via our ears. Our brain processes the information, takes the decision, and sends signals to our hands to press the button on the alarm clock. So this passing of information signals from the body organs to the brain, and the brain to our body organs is a job of our nervous system. So today, we are learning all about our nervous system. Our nervous system is divided into two main parts, central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system consists of our brain and spinal cord. Peripheral nervous system, it consists of all the nerves. Peripheral nervous system is further divided into two types, autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system. Now let's learn the parts of nervous systems in detail. Central nervous system. We know central nervous system includes our brain and spinal cord. Our brain. It is the main organ of central nervous system. It is present in our head and is protected by the skull. The brain has three important parts. Cerebellum cerebrum, and medulla. Cerebellum is also known as little brain. And this cerebellum, or the little brain, is responsible for the smooth and coordinated body movements. Next is cerebrum. It is the folded area of the brain, which is the main site of intelligence, logical thoughts, and emotions. Next is medulla. 
also called the brain stem. It has many important functions like regulating our heart rate, our breathing, our blood pressure, our swallowing, digestion, and many involuntary actions. Next is the peripheral nervous system. That includes all the nerves that connects the central nervous system to every part of the body. Peripheral nervous system carries messages from the central nervous system and sends them to the other body parts and also carries back messages from the other body parts to the central nervous system that is the brain and spinal cord. Body parts send messages to the brain. The brain interprets these messages and generates order, which is sent back to the relevant body part to take action. Nerves that transmit signals from the brain are motor nerves, and the nerves transmitting signals to the brain are called sensory nerves. There are also nerves that serve both the purposes, and they are known as mixed nerves. All the nerves are made up of cells called neurons, also called nerve cells. Neurons have special structures that let them transmit signals from one neuron to the other in the form of electromagnetic waves. First, let's learn the parts of a neuron. This is the cell body that has a nucleus inside it. And these are dendrites that receive messages in the form of electric signals from other cells. And this is axon where the message in the form of electric signal travels and passes to dendrites of the next neuron. These are axon terminals that join with the next neurons. Electrical signal keeps on moving from one neuron to the other till it reaches its destination. So kids, our nervous system has two main parts central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. And parts of the central nervous system are brain and the spinal cord. Our brain first receives the signal from our sensory nerves about something that our body experienced and then processes the received signal and generates the order in the form of some action, thought, or emotion. Orders from the brain are sent through motor nerves to relevant body parts for the action to be taken. Then is our peripheral nervous system. It consists of all the nerves that are made up of either motor neurons or sensory neurons. Motor nerves are made of motor neurons and sensory nerves are made of sensory neurons. Kids, you can help your nervous system work well and keep it healthy by being active, having a healthy diet, and keeping yourself busy and happy. So kids, today we learned about our nervous system. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.